Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a quick overview of the free sew basics, including how to increase your needs, how to gain skills, and how to make money. When you first arrive on a lot, it will look something like this. You can move around the screen by edge scrolling or right clicking and moving around the screen like this. If you want to rotate the screen, you can rotate left and right like this. And if the walls bother you, you can bring them down by doing this. You can also zoom in and out. And you can move between the floors by clicking up here and down. Once you hit F1 or li Live Mode here, you will see your sim and other sims on the lot as well as all of your needs. If you click on your sim, it will center and bring up your profile page. This can also be done for all the other sims on the lot. First, you want to get all of your needs into the green as possible, or your sim might refuse to do certain activities. To green hunger, you can eat. You'll have to look for the kitchen. Sometimes there's a buffet, and sometimes there's home cooking, also called HC in-game. To green your bladder and hygiene, you'll have to find a bathroom. On this lot, they're upstairs. You just click on the toilet to use. That will increase your bladder. To increase your hygiene, you can use a shower or a bathtub. To increase your energy, you'll have to find a bed. And choose sleep. That will bring up your energy. There are two main ways that you can bring up fun. You can use one of these purple PCs and play games, or you can use a VR set here. VR set is pretty small, can be hard to find on the lot. There are several other ways to increase your fun, however these two are the most common. To increase social, you'll have to interact with another sim. Occasionally when you are eating on a lot, uh, one of the hosts, the roommate or the host of the lot, might sing to you. It's called serenading. This will bring up your energy and your social. Um, your sim can learn how to so how, can learn how to serenade as well by getting eight points in the creativity skill. By clicking on your sim's little picture here, it opens up your profile. You can view your friend web and all the sims that you've interacted with and made friends with. The yellow smiley face means you're, that they are one of your sim's friends. You can view the total friends here at the bottom. From this page, you can also open up your Sims friends' profiles and view them as well. For your own profile, you can read your own Sims description here or write one. The second tab has all of your Sims skills and achievements. You can view the number of skills your Sim has, as well as your Sims current job. Under skills, all of mine are red. That means they are locked. When you first start skilling, you'll notice that you'll have blue bars like this. It's very important to lock them. Turn them red by clicking the furthest right full skill point. Once you've locked them, they won't be able to decay. This is very important because once you've reached 10 skill points, on most lots, your skills will decay. So it's very important to lock those as you gain skills. In the second tab, job. Um, my sim currently has a restaurant job. You can find inform more information about the job that your sim has by clicking the more job information. It shows the carpool, uh, the hours of the job, the current position, and how close you are to a promotion. You can also go to tsomania.net. It has a job promotion chart available. It shows you how many friends you need, what skills you need, and also how many more shifts you have to complete for the next promotion. Now we're going to talk about skills. The first skill you might want to get is creativity. You can get creativity by using a piano or a guitar. Right here. The next skill that might be important to you is either cooking or mechanical. You can skill both of these skills on a bookshelf. Each bookshelf has one cookbook and one mechanical book. If you don't see the bookshelf uh, has the skill that you're looking for, you might need to click a couple different bookshelves. To skill logic, you can use a chessboard or a telescope, like this, or here. And to skill body, you'll have to go to this room over here,
You can use a workout machine, or you can use one of the exercise balls. After you've gained skills, you might want to consider making money. There are two main ways to make money by using the single money objects. To make money with creativity, you can use the easels, or you can use the writers here. To make money with logic, you can use the chalkboard to solve a problem. You can use the potions to make a potion. To use mechanical, you can make a gnome on the gnome tables. And to use charisma, you can use the telemarketing machine here. To use the cooking skill, you'll have to make preserves. To make or make jams, as they're often called, and to use the body skill to make money, you can use the pinatas. Next, there are group money objects. There are three group money objects you can use. These require multiple sims. Probably the most popular is the code. It takes three sims, one with logic skill, one with mechanical, and one with body. Pizza is another group money object. You can make pizza with two sims at the cooking station, one at the body, and one charisma. Band is the last group money object. You need two sims with creativity, one with body, and one with charisma. To exit the lot, all you have to do is click on the payphone at the entrance and leave lot. Once you leave the lot, you will be at city mode. From city mode, you can do many searches. You can search for lot property types, welcome lots. I highly recommend if your sim is under seven days old that you use a welcome lot because you can make twice as much money, skill faster, meet other new sims, and the hosts are usually very helpful and um, very willing to answer any questions you might have about the game. You can also go to a money lot. Once your sim is over seven days old, you'll have to make money on regular money lots. Same with skilling. After your sim is past the seven days, you'll need to skill on regular skill lots. Service lots are good for greening and whiting your needs. You're able to fully white your, your hunger, hygiene, bladder, and energy on service lots. On entertainment lots, you'll be able to fully white your social and fun. Other important lots you might find are store lots where once you buy a property you'll be able to buy furniture at a discount price. You can also search for lots using this search feature by typing in any if you know the lots name you can type in the name find it here. You can also search for a sims name as well and pull up their profile. By using the top 100 list, you can search the top 100 lots in each category. Here, for example, we see the top money lots. Alright, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you learned something.